Today we've got something truly exciting to talk about, which is this Xjimi Halo Plus projector. If you're a movie buff, gamer, or just someone who loves a good cinematic experience, you're in for a treat. Before we dive in, here is a quick snapshot on what you could expect from this video. Unboxing and first impression, quick setup, picture quality and sound quality, specs and versatility, advantage and disadvantage, and finally, who's this projector for? I also want to say a massive thank you to XJimmy for gifting this and as always all opinions are 100% my own. Let's dive into the unboxing and see what is inside. But first, look at this compact packaging. It is like opening Apple product and a slick package. First impression, taking out the projector from the box, I was really surprised on how small and portable this projector is. You will be absolutely able to take this projector anywhere. The remote of the Halo Plus is a stunning white and it comes with the features that you would need but I cannot seem to make a decision which remote is actually better. The XGME Horizon Pro versus this Halo Plus remote. Let me know in the comment section which one is your favourite. The rest of the content is the usual, a power adapter slash power brick, a user guide and the remote again. For those who are wondering how big is this projector? Its measurement is 113.5 by 145 by 171.5 height and it weighs 1.6 kg. When compared with the Horizon Pro, it is half of its size but slightly taller. Although this Halo Plus is a smaller brother to Horizon Pro, but don't let the size and the price tag fool you. The look, build quality and user experience is practically perfect for me. Spoiler alert, this projector is one of the best user-friendly, futuristic and color accurate projector you would find in the market. More about this later on. Before we move on to the setup, let's hold our breath for 10 seconds and admire the design of this projector and how it blends in with my furniture. Setting up the projector can be hassle, right? Not with the XGME Halo Plus. Join me as we go through the setup process and see how quickly we can turn any space to a home theater. Okay, so it says that the remote has been paired. Okay, let's go skip ahead. Set up the Wi-Fi. Okay, as soon as you signed in, this is how it looks like. It's looking really nice and vivid. And um, the brightness again, it's quite decent. I have a dedicated screen for my home theater setup, but most of you, you will be projecting this on the wall. And let me show you both scenarios on the screen as well as the wall. So let's bring the projector screen a little bit lower so you can see the difference. You can see that so far. I don't know, again, it might be my preference, but looking at it, the wall looks a little bit washed out compared to the screen. But again, the screen looks a little bit darker. That's because the colors are more punchy. The blacks are proper black. And then obviously the colors are more vibrant compared to the screen. This motorized screen is usually for ultra short throw projector, which has an ambient light rejection. Hence why our projector is placed low on the ground so it can project everything upwards it can use its maximum potential. Likewise, when this is projected on the wall, it delivers exceptional quality for such a small projector with 700 ISO lumens. At the back of the projector comes with the DC power, headphone input, one HDMI, one USB type A and finally power button. At the top of the projector, there are a few touch gesture buttons volume control up and down and of course pause and play button. At the front of the projector you would find your projector lens and at the bottom you would see your autofocus sensor. Before we move on to the most interesting part, let's quickly run through the most important specs of this projector. The Halo Plus comes with FHD to enhance your image quality and is powered by XVU 2.0 engine with 700 ISO lumens and it comes with HDR10 with Mimic and it is supported by 10 watts speakers sounded by Harmon Cardone. It comes with our favorite Android TV that boots within six seconds and it comes with a gaming mode. You could expect it with a low latency down to 26.5 milliseconds and this is more than enough for my needs as I'm not a true gamer. It is jam packed with AI features such as intelligent screen alignment, 
auto keystone correction, my favourite, the intelligent obstacle avoidance, which I've not seen on any other premium projectors out there. And finally, of course, it comes with autofocus for your seamless cinema experience. Now let's talk about what really matters, the picture and the sound quality. Prepare to be blown away. Let's start with my least favourite, which is watching this projector on a daytime, as 700 ISO lumen is not enough compared to other high-end projectors that we've reviewed. Obviously the brightness will vary depending on the usage condition, but where this projector shines is during the night, and we've measured the brightness in ANSI lumen. The readings that we have received is 900 ANSI lumen, we followed the industry standard formula which requires you to be measuring 9 specific points in a 100% white image and use the average of the all 9 to calculate lux. Now that we have the average of 9 points reading of lux, I've multiplied by the area which is also known the screen size to give me 900 ANSI lumen. In order for me to take accurate reading, I had to turn off the eye protection feature so it does not dim the brightness. The 10 watt Harman Kardon speakers really stand out and I'm curious to see if this projector will be the crown of the portable showdown that we did in a month ago. In the portable review projector we had the Nebula capsule and a 4 movie projector at the first place so I'm really keen to see how this projector will withstand in terms of its value against those two projectors. Let's enjoy this short video. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead Maybe you'll get sick of being the monster Out of my head, under my bed Think you're something out of my nightmares Standing right there But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead Then will you get bored of killing me? Silhouettes of you are like a taunt Never really notice what you want with you, I don't the XGME Halo Plus is not just for a movie, it is versatile entertainment hub whether you're a gamer, a bench watcher or a sports fanatic, this projector has something for everyone. One of the standout features of this XGME Halo projector is the portability, no need to be tied down on a single room. Take your entertainment wherever you go and it can last up to 2 hours video playback. I've been binge watching Wu Assassin lately and I have a power cable nearby. Now let's expand on advantages and disadvantages. It comes with native 1080p HDR10 which means it's clear and sharp image. It also comes with 700 ISO lumens which is crucial for enjoying your content in a mid-lit rooms. It comes with intelligent screen alignment, obstacle avoidance, auto keystone correction and autofocus. It is powered by Android TV which means it comes with all of the Google Play Store apps and much more. The throw distance may vary depending on your scenario. Adjustments required are based on your specific living room dimensions and condition. In my case, I've been projecting it between 100 and 120 inch. However, this projector can project up to 200 inch. It also comes with 25,000 lamp hour lifespan, which is more than enough in my case. I'm really pleased to say that the design and build quality of this projector is slick and it fits within my house deco really well. And finally, it comes with affordable price, original price at 749 Use the link in the description box to get a discount. The disadvantage of this projector is it does not come with native Netflix, but you can work around by downloading third-party app or hook up your gaming console. And in my case, we have Chromecast hooked up when we want to watch Netflix. Unfortunately, this projector does not come with a carrier case, so if you're traveling around, you probably need to purchase a carrier case. I would recommend this projector to those who would like to enhance their movie gaming experience on the go with a massive display at a more affordable price. Years ago, when I was at university, I used to binge watch everything through my laptop as I had no room for a large TV. But if I had this projector, it would have saved me tons of money and time going to the cinema. The XGME Halo Plus is your ticket to a world of cinematic magic. If you're ready to elevate your entertainment game, this might be the perfect gadget for you or your family. Watch this video for more portable projectors.